guys, so welcome to today's video. As you guys can see, it's Evo's outside. It's a gloomy day. This is going to be a very uh, different video compared to the rest. Um, it's going to be a different like, pace and different style, so let me know what you guys think of it. But um, this car was so annoying to get started. <laughs> but uh, either way, let's, let's get right into it. There's lots to talk about. But first, let's, let's do something real quick. So I apologize for the wind if it's really windy, but I just took it to a spot in my neighborhood that I like. It's just got a good view behind it. Um, I just thought I'd stretch its legs a little bit. I'm keeping it running because uh, I don't want it to die because it, it's probably going to. But um, yeah, I just really have a lot of thoughts and stuff to talk about with this car and just really got to hammer down on what I want to do with it, honestly. Um, it's such a good car. It works so well. Drives good. Well, right now it's a little creaky. I think it needs a good bolt check. But, um, yeah, like this car is, is great. It's been nothing but great to me. Um, and I just, I, I think I got to think about the next step for either this car or for me. cars back home or back looking at this girl let's talk about this and this now goodbye to that for now all right so there's only one thing I have to do to this car today because I only have that's the only thing I have like I'm still waiting for so many parts everything's taking forever to be made, but it's okay. That's, I, all I have to do is the brakes. So I thought as I do this, I'd just do a little bit of a talking video because to be honest, like doing rotors and pads is not the most exciting content as, as I'm sure all of you have done it a million times. <laughs> At least I know I have, but um, yeah. So I just thought I'd talk a little bit as I work today. Um, and it's more about the Evo. This car, I mean, I guess first we'll start off with the plans of this car. This car is going to be a street car. Like, it's, I don't think it's, it's never not going to be a street car. Like, I'm never going to turn this into, like, a pro car or a competition car or anything like that. That, to me, is dumb. Like, just turn this car into that. Um, if I ever plan to do that, I'm building a new car and doing it, like, from, like, the way I want it right out the start. So, I just want to clear the air. And... I thought I'd make this video because in the past couple videos I've made have been obviously on this car and a lot of people have been commenting asking what's going on with the Evo, what's the next like, I guess step of the process or what's the ne next part of the build or like some people haven't watched back then so they're asking like oh are you going to build the Evo which is already built but it could use more and you know it's just a lot of question marks around the Evo and ow and uh, so I just thought I'd kind of talk about it. After I, first I'm obviously just going to go about the Sylvia, but um, this is just, just kind of my reasoning for this video. Oh, okay, now that that's done. <laughs> the plans for this car are simple, like seat time car. Like I want it to be a decent drift car. Like I don't want it to be like super competitive or this crazy drift car. Like. I want to be able to drift when I want it to, but I also want to be able to drive this car on the street and just enjoy it because it's a nice car and it's fun to drive. Like even just cruising it like on the back roads and shit, like this car is just such an enjoyable car and I want to make it just drive well and perform well. Cause like, honestly at the stage of where S15s are, I don't think it'll be very hard for me to own another one. Just more in the sense to justify spending a lot of money on these cars. Like spec S's are selling for 20 grand. You know, and it's insane. So I just, for me, it's like, I can't justify spending that much on these cars when it's not like a spec car that's turbo manual and the whole thing, you know? So like, this is just, and this car's not that clean in the sense of like mileage and like, you know, it's got some scratches, some cracks in the bumpers, and you know, all that stuff. 
So it's like, it's not, it's not a show car. So I can just, I can enjoy it and just drive it, which is the goal with this car. Honestly, is just to enjoy it and drive it. So don't expect any insane build on this car. Um, there's gonna be lots of driving content and, and build content. Like, you know, don't, not going to say I'm building this car half ass. It's just not going to be a crazy build, but, um, yeah, like if I ever build a pro car, it's not going to be this. I'm going to buy a new chassis and like build that good from the first, from the start. But anyways, now the main topic of uh, discussion here. Okay, now that the brake pads are in and I'm now dirty as hell. Um, Let's talk about the Evo a little bit. Now, just, just want to state, like, I, I love that car. That car has been so much to me and it's just, it's done so many good things for me, like mentally and like to progress in just like doing this kind of stuff. Like I've learned so much on that car and I'll be forever. Like it's one of those cars that I'll always think about, you know, it's just one of those cars that's so special and just, I, I love it. But I couldn't lie if there was a bit of a part of me that just kind of wondered if it's now time to move on to the next one, you know? It's like, I love that car, but I'm also like, to now continue building that car, I gotta do, like if I wanna stage it up, I gotta like build the motor and like do all that stuff. And it's just like, if I'm building the motor, I'm doing a stroker and I wanna do this like badass engine setup, but and it's also like, is it worth it? Cause then like that car is just going to become less of a driver. You know, it's going to be a fast, it's going to be fast as hell if I do that. And which is going to be fun, but it's also like then where I live, there's not many real places to enjoy it, you know? So it's, then it becomes one of those, like, it's so good in its current state and it's so good at what it does that why would I kind of ruin it in a way if that makes sense. So that kind of brings me into the first topic. I. I've been thinking about like on and off for the past year or so about getting rid of it and getting something else. Mainly what I've been thinking about honestly is getting a Porsche. I've been thinking about getting a 996, 911 because like the Evo is worth pretty close to what that those cars are worth. And I'm sure I would have a lot of fun with a 911 because my, my point with replacing it with a car like that or honestly a Chaser is another one that I've been thinking about is because I, I, if I'm replacing the Evo, I'm replacing it with something that is good at like, I can just start it up and drive it, you know? This car is gonna be a little bit less of that. It's gonna be more of a purpose-ish car, but still I want it to have those attributes, but the Evo or like my second car, you wanna call it that, I always want it to be that, to be the car that, if say this car's down, cause I was just in an event and it broke, I'm waiting for parts. I have a car that I can just get in and drive and enjoy, you know, and that's what the evil has been. And it does a damn good job at it. Ah, yeah, there we go. Got it. Oh, okay. So now that the caliper's on, it's not tight, but it's on. Um, I thought I'd just talk a little bit about like, this part at least I should talk about how it's just that car's been the I, that car's been such a journey for me so many ups and downs and you know as I said I've learned a lot from it but like ah uh, it's <laughs> I'm even like getting like so torn even talking about this just because like I still have like no idea what I really want and like also just what's next for me in life oh I lost my gibbet oh, it's gotta be around somewhere anyways um, so it's just a lot of question marks these days, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> God, this video is going to suck. But yeah. So that kind of brings in the next question. Like, what do you guys think of this? What do you, what do you guys think about the, this, the Evo? It's just, it's kind of just been the car in the background and like, all it really needs is like a little bit of wiring work and then it's just good. Like there's nothing it needs really like. You know, it's one of those things where it's like, if it needs something in the motor or something, I'm just pulling it out and I'm doing everything. You know what I mean? So it's just, it's a, it's a hard, it's a hard thing where I'm like, 
with how much I have into the car right now, I could sell it and still make money because I bought them before they were legal in the States. So I bought it super cheap, at least compared to nowadays prices. But, hmm. but that's the same thing. Like, are you building a car for yourself or someone else? I don't know yet. Man, the Sylvia has been so annoying. It fucking keeps leaking coolant. We're out of the turbo. So, that's annoying obviously, but whatever, we'll figure it out. Okay, cool. Brakes are installed. <laughs> I know the, you know, I just know the things I want to hit with this. Like, I really, I do. <sighs> but the Evo, I don't know. I just don't know. I really don't. So that's why I think I'm maybe leaning on you guys a little bit to just see what you think. Like, you know, if, if, if I should stay in the JDM side or just keep the Evo or get a Porsche or blah, I don't, I don't know. It's just... It's a, lot of, it's a lot to think about, and then also that like, a lot to think about, but like, because I also don't really have my life set up yet, you know, so it's just, all of it's just, every decision I make lately has just been like, I really been thinking about it a lot, almost probably too much, but that's okay. That's part of being alive, right? But uh, yeah, I just thought I'd make this because, you know, I, I haven't obviously posted in a little bit, and I need to be authentic with like you. Because whoever you are watching behind the camera, like you're the reason why this keeps going, right? Because people enjoy it. So, you know, I thought I'd show them, show you people what a little inside of my life and like inside of what my brain works. Because I don't really know how it works sometimes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't really think I have anything else to be honest. That's the biggest points I wanted to hit. The Evo is not going anywhere soon. I want to enjoy it a little bit this summer, of course, because this thing is probably going to break a bunch of times because it's a fresh build and blah, 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 all the bullshit that comes with along that. But anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this style of content. I just wanted to try something new and just shoot one thing like consecutively in one day. You know what I mean? So I, uh, I hope you enjoyed this style. It's different. Um, I'm just, my brain is like, I'm one of those like artsy losers in my brain. You know, I'm always thinking of like music videos or like different like art forms. I'm, all, I'm always thinking about that kind of stuff. I don't know why. It's just like the way my brain kind of is wired, I guess. So I thought I'd try out a different style of content and if you guys like it, please let me know. If you don't, let me know too. I don't really care. I'm making this for me and the, the people who care. <laughs> But uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you really did. And uh, I hope you have a great day. Good afternoon, good night, good morning. Thank you for watching this. And uh, yeah. Peace.